Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia, near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm going to be showing you how to import a product and service items into a QuickBooks Online file. This is helpful for when you already have a products and services list set up the way that you want to have it set up. And it'll also save you time that you don't have to enter all this stuff manually. And we're continuing to work with my QuickBooks Online Kathy's test file here. So what you see here is that I am in the Products and Services tab. And since I don't have anything in it right now, there is an option for me to add items. So when I click on that button, it takes me to the actual Products and Services list area in the test file. Now you can see that there are two default items in here that I cannot delete. I already tried them. They're system generated. I'm not worried about that. Ordinarily, you can enter items individually, but what I really want to do is I want to import. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the import button and that will bring us to another screen that you'll see here shortly. And so from this area, you can see, since it's our first time importing products or services, it gives you an option to download a sample file in which you want to do because you have to have this sample file set up in such a way that the import will work with very few problems. So when I click on that download link for the sample file, then I'm able to download it and then save it to my hard drive on the computer. And now this is what it looks like when I open it up in Excel. Basically, it gives you a template on how everything needs to be set up in order for the import to go through properly. And now I need to go to the previous file where those products and services will be coming from. So we're in the products and services list of the file where I want to grab those products and services from. And as you can see, you cannot export this file, but you can run a report, which is kind of a backwards hack to this. So I'm going to go ahead and run this report so you can see the report in QuickBooks Online. So I've run the report and you can see it. But one of the things that you can do from the report is you can export to Excel, export to PDF or Google Sheets. So I'm just going to go ahead and export to Excel. And once I do that, I open it up in Excel, and this is what you see. And as you can see, the report in Excel is in a format now that I can at least work with it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine this information with the information from the template that I ran in the other file and combine that stuff together and put it in a format that I can use to easily download. So once I get done with that, this is what we have as our final product. Okay, so after doing some copying and pasting and moving around the data, you can see that I have my spreadsheet ready for import. Now I need to bring up a couple of things that you need to understand. If you're importing inventory items, then you're going to need the name, the type, the quantity, and the quantity as of date as requirements in order to import this list. Otherwise, if you're using service or non-inventory items, then the name field is the only required field. Now with all that done, I am ready to go back to the other file and do the import. Okay, so we are back in the Kathy test file and I am ready to import this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna navigate through the steps to do that. And then once we get that file uploaded, then we can start with the next step, which is making sure everything is mapped appropriately. Okay, so we're in the area where we need to make sure everything is mapped appropriately, and it looks like everything came over the way it was supposed to. Everything matched up to what it was supposed to match up to. I'm only bringing in the products and services name, type, sales description, and sales price. And so now when I go over to the next screen, you should see that there's a little bit more cleanup that I need to do before we can actually import this file. 
Okay, so I am actually in the import screen, but before I can import this file, I need to go ahead and map the income accounts to the appropriate accounts that they need to be pointing to in the chart of accounts. So I am doing that, and so now when I click on import, it'll actually do the actual import. And on the next screen, you'll be able to see what it looks like once I've imported everything into the new file. Okay, so you can see we're in our Kathy test file and everything came over the way that it was supposed to, including all the sales prices, descriptions, and whatnot. Well, I only have one sales price that I entered. Let's go ahead and click on the edit button while we're down here and look at that and see everything mapped the way it was supposed to. And so let's actually look at one that does have a description. So let's go back up to the top and we're going to look at the edit and so you can see everything that came over on that. Everything mapped out the way it was supposed to. I was really pleased with this result. So all in all, based on the fact that I couldn't export that file, I had to kind of do a little uh, hack where I ran the report and then exported it to Excel and then combined everything in order to get this result. I would say that I'm very pleased. It didn't take a whole lot of time at all. So hopefully this will help you today. Y'all take care and have a wonderful week. See you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.